Jean. To pull off. To be able to perform or complete something. To succeed in doing something difficult or unexpected. Examples. You say we're all suspects. How do we know you're not the killer? I have an alibi. Yeah, he's not smart enough to pull off a murder like this. <laughs> Incident. <laughs> it appears that Penny secretly wants you in her life in a very intimate and carnal fashion. You really think so? Of course not. <laughs> Even in my sleep-deprived state, I've managed to pull off another one of my classic pranks. Bazinga. <laughs> How the rest of the night's gonna be? I don't know the future. <laughs> Do you think there's a chance that an asteroid could hit the Earth, destroying Feynman's house and everyone in it? No, Sheldon. Well, then buckle up. You're in for a cranky night. To buckle up. To prepare for what is about to happen, such as danger, excitement, trouble, etc. To fasten seatbelt in a vehicle or aircraft. Examples. Bothers me a little bit that you're just a tiny bit loud. Loud? Not all the time, only when you, you know, when you talk. So I embarrass you? Gloria. What? Am I being too loud again? All right, buckle up. Oh, I'm gonna go and try to do the laundry, and I'm gonna do it very quietly so I don't bother you. Maybe money can help me. Which pedal's the gas? Trick question. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Middle, left, right? <laughs> I never learned how to drive. I grew up in the city. I never had a chance. Well, guess what? You're getting your chance because I'm going to teach you. Barney Stinson, buckle up. You got something. OK. To drop by. To come to see someone, usually briefly and without a specific invitation. Examples. Sup, guys? <laughs> no, 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 please, just. Go away. Well, I just wanted to drop by and say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Come on, get up, New York. <laughs> my old boss, Ed Truck, has died. <gasps> oh, Michael, that's such terrible news. You must feel so sad. Yes, I am. It's very sad. Because he was my boss. Well, I'll be in my office. In case anybody wants to drop by, cheer me up. It is about Sheldon. How many times has he made fun of Howard for being an engineer, going to MIT, his magic? Anyway, the point is, Sheldon shouldn't dish it out if he can't take it. I think the point is that Howard owes him an apology. To dish out. To criticize or punish other people to say things to people without thinking about them carefully. Examples. They got into a fight over the ranch dressing, and now it's everywhere. <laughs> I figured it out, boy. They've been acting like kids, so I'm gonna treat them like kids. Ooh, daddy's gonna dish out some daddy discipline. <laughs> Excuse me, Angela. Michael asked me to turn in these receipts for these gift basket items. Thank you. You're welcome. To turn in. To give something to the person who has officially asked for it. To go to bed at night. To tell the police about someone because they have committed a crime. Examples. So I'm working on this report called Using 23B3 Spurious Class Action Precedent to contest a class certification order based on lack of commonality and numerosity. Dude, you lost us. Can you just call it something cool, like the Ninja Report? Okay. Yeah, fine, whatever. Um, so I'm supposed to turn in the Ninja Report yesterday. Oh, oh, awesome. cool. Well, I'm going to make some warm milk and then turn in. I trust if you two are planning on engaging in amorous activities, you'll keep the decibel level to a minimum. Of course. Thank you. I was just thinking we should probably turn in two. I would enjoy seeing your lab. Yeah, sure. Uh, if you want, you can come tomorrow. I look forward to it. Well, I think I'm going to turn in. Good night, Penny. Good night, dear. Good night. Good night, Beverly. <laughs> How did you know I was here? Because I'm Monica Geller. It was my credit card you were using. 
That I was not expecting. <laughs> I want you to know it wasn't me who turned you in. Oh. Hi. I'm a stripper. There's no easy way to say this. Uh, you no longer work for Schmidt and CC. No, no, they're firing me? No, but didn't you tell them how good I am? Well, you know, I tried to. I was like, I was like, man, she good. You didn't you... stick up for me, Winston? Well, I tried. I'm calling Ellie. Hey. To stick up for, to speak in support of a person, an idea, belief, or plan. Especially when no one else will. Examples. Go, Mom! Woo! Yo, Mom, you rock! Oh, I wish I had a rock. Hey. It wouldn't kill you to be nice to Dylan. It might. What, honey? I don't know why you always stick up for him. Haley can do so much better. Because I know what it's like to fall for a girl whose dad thinks I'm not good enough. Mm -mm. I just told my mom I'd cater a party for her. How come? <laughs> because I need the money. And I thought it'd be a great way to get rid of that last little smidgen of self-respect. <laughs> come on, I think this is a good thing. I don't think mom would have hired you if she didn't think you were good at what you do. You don't have to stick up for her. She can't hear you. It was over 20 years ago. We only had one weekend together, but the way he made me feel. And the older I get, I keep thinking that he was the one. And I let him slip away. To slip away. If a period of time slips away, it passes quickly. To no longer be available, often about an opportunity. To leave without being noticed. To leave secretly. Examples. Brave. What does it eat? Oh, just little boy brains. <laughs> well, at least Luke's got nothing to worry about. Is there mayo in this? No, you're good. Um, so I was thinking that maybe we could go slip away. Let's go get that park. That park is my dream. I'm not gonna let it slip away. Who cares if Grizzle and Ron have more money? I have the most valuable currency in America. A blind, stubborn belief that what I am doing is 100% right. You know, it's okay to feel frustrated when things aren't going your way. I suppose. Ah, oh, maybe it's not that big a deal. No, 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 your feelings are valid. Now, why don't you go wash up, and we'll call you when dinner's ready. To wash up. To wash your hands, especially before a meal. To wash plates, cups, spoons, after a meal. Examples. So, are we ready to order? Give me a minute. I'm gonna go wash up. Well, that's odd. We both washed up when we came in. It's probably a euphemism for urination. <laughs> All right, everybody, this turkey is ready. Where can I wash up? Here. Let me show you. OK, the towels are hanging next to the sink, and um, you can use the fancy soap. Thank you. <laughs> fancy soap? I thought we were saving that for the Pope. <laughs> Mom, I'm not interested you in. You already think you own my body. Why not my home, okay, too? Everybody stay calm, and, and you we can. You have to lash out at everyone who tries to help you? Live in your own kitchen sink, brolic. Oh, 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 harsh. To lash out. To criticize someone or something angrily. To try to hit or attack someone suddenly and violently. Examples. Oh, and another thing. Our sex life is none of your businesses. And Andy is the manager, not Nelly. Stop protecting me. I'm a man. I can protect myself. This is misdirected anger, and I'm sorry. I don't mean to lash out at you. There's a lot coming up right now, all at once. Dad, go to hell. I'm taller than you. Look, if I learned one thing from my parents, it's this. The key to a good marriage is keeping your emotions bottled up until they finally explode and you have to lash out physically. You mean beat each other up? I mean beat yourself up. <laughs> A conversation about the Transformers it might actually be about someone in this room. <laughs> now, I'm going to pause to let that sink in. OK, I think I understand. You do? To sink in. If an unpleasant or surprising fact or idea sinks in, you gradually start to understand it or realize the effect it will have on you to be absorbed of liquid. Examples. We're not 
even the best community college in our community. Let that sink in. All because you don't know how to run a school. Shame on you, Dean. Shame on you. Edison, out. My camera person and co-host, Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler, has chosen to end her relationship with me. I'm going to pause here to let that sink in. Okay. If you need to pause a little longer, just click the pause button. No way are you cool enough to pull off Clint. You don't have to stick up for her. She can't hear you. All right, buckle up. Where can I wash up? What are you doing? You know I can only dish it out. <laughs>